What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. We got a jam-packed video for you today. In today's video, we're going to be talking about my everyday carries spring forward 2024 edition. All right, so right off the bat, we use the iPhone 15 Pro Max over here in this house. All right, I'm an iPhone guy. I'm an Apple guy. I love their products. And so I am going to be talking about some of my everyday items that I'm using right now this spring with this device. So let me know if you guys use any of these items. Is there any items I should be aware of that I should try out on the channel? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, I'm excited to share what I use and I'm excited to hear from you guys what you use as well. And so without further ado, we'll start off with simply my first everyday carry is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And with that, what am I using to protect my device? And right now I am rocking the Synthesis by Kadabe. So shout out to Kadabe who recently sent me a care package with some other items. I already previously had the gray Synthesis, but they just sent me the Amethyst Synthesis kind of a mouthful, but I am loving the amethyst color. And so that is the case that I am rocking right now for my iPhone 15 Pro Max. So if you've seen any videos on my channel, I do have a synthesis video and I do have a sheath video, which are two cases from Kadabe. But right now the synthesis is just winning it out. So check out that solo vid on the sheath and synthesis if you want a more in-depth review of this case. But really the reason I enjoy the synthesis while it is kind of my everyday carry right now is I'm loving the purple color coming into the spring. But then this case is just super minimalistic. You've got the grip that the synthesis provides right here on the sides that just offers a little bit more feel and texture to this device than the sheath does. You've got a little bit different camera cut out there, which is kind of ergonomic. You can kind of place your hand in that space along with the grip. Just really creates a great feel and great ergonomics for this case. And so between these two colors, the amethyst and the gray, I do have the natural titanium iPhone. So the gray is a dope colorway as well. But right now, the amethyst is just winning it for me. I have the amethyst in the synthesis and I have amethyst for the sheath as well. So number one on the list protecting my iPhone 15 Pro Max is that Kadabe synthesis. So I'll leave all the links in the description below if you guys are interested to check out their website and interested to check out the video on my channel about this. Next on the list, the everyday carry are my AirPods and more importantly, the accessory that goes with the AirPods, which is, believe it or not, another Kadabe product. It is their Mezzo, which is their case for the AirPods Pro. I have the second generation AirPods. All right, so I have the box here off to the side. So it looks like this comes in the box. Kadabe Mezzo Amethyst for AirPods Pro second generation. I do only still have the Lightning version, but it's got drop protection, textured grip, slim and sleek design. And if you've seen anything about Kadabe or seen any of the videos on my channel, it's got that same material that the synthesis and sheath have. And so we've got our cutouts at the bottom for your charging and your speaker. We've got our cutout for the lanyard. And then it does have a adhesive system. There's two separate parts. So you slide your AirPods in this way. And in the top is in here, there's an adhesive that comes with it. They give you another one in the box. You press it on, hold it for five to 10 seconds to get the top part on, making sure you don't put any pressure on that hinge. But this is an absolutely awesome color. It matches the amethyst case that I have. And so these are kind of the dynamic duo, especially in the field of work that I am in. I'm often on the go at my office. And so I got to take my AirPods with me. And so right now, currently rocking the Mezzo on these bad boys. So they've got plenty of different colorways on that. I have the amethyst. I also have 
the gray colorway to match my other synthesis. And so same deal here. This one's actually still in the box, but you've got the gray colorway on here as well. And so, like I mentioned, there's your adhesive on the inside. Take this stuff out, put your AirPods in, peel the adhesive, stick it on, and you've got gray. So two of the colorways for the AirPods Pro, the amethyst and the gray, but I'm taking my AirPods with me wherever I go, and it, why not match with my case to protect my AirPods? So the Mezzo AirPods Pro second generation, that is the second item on my list for my everyday carry spring forward edition. I'm not going anywhere without my AirPods, and I am not going to let them roll naked. They're gonna color code and match, so. All right, number three on the list, if you've watched any of my recent videos, when I get to the accessories for testing MagSafe, you probably have seen this accessory on there, and that is the Magnetic Wallet by ESR. This is my favorite wallet right now. I do used to have like the classic fold em up wallet. I'm a big fan of MagSafe wallets since Apple introduced MagSafe, and so I've been using the Apple MagSafe wallet before the leather, but it got absolutely beat down and I just didn't feel like spending 60 plus bucks for another leather wallet. So I did a little research online and another brand that's pretty reliable is ESR. So in that third spot is this wallet. Now it allows you to have three cards in there. All right, my trusty Costco card, but it allows you to have three cards comfortably in there can push up from the bottom down here to release them out. And the cool thing about this wallet is it does have a loop. So when it's on your device, it kind of acts as a pop socket. So I like this amethyst color, it goes well with the black. They do have some different colorways for the ESR wallet, but I decided to go with black. And so as you see here for the loop, you can put your hand in, allows you to have some extra ergonomics. And it feels really good with the synthesis case, all right, because you've already got that grip on here and then you just secure it in with the loop and you're good to go. You're not gonna drop whatever you're holding. And then another thing that I really like about this wallet, the reason I take it with me is if you want to watch something, all right, you can put it in landscape mode and watch some shows, watch some YouTube, especially, like I said, a line of work I'm in I'm at the office, I'm on the go, I can prop this up and watch YouTube, watch Netflix, and then use my main work computer to get work done. And so this wallet acts as kind of an all-in-one for that. And it's pretty compact. It doesn't add a ton of extra bulk and girth to your phone. There are some wallets that add a lot of extra real estate to your device, but it looks really nice. And again, kind of color coating with the amethyst color from Kadabe just looks nice. Everything's protected, it matches, and the colors just go well together. So like I said, I'll leave description links in the comments below if you're interested in a significantly cheaper MagSafe wallet than the Apple branded one. Extremely strong magnets by ESR and in the versatility of the loop. This is my main wallet that I'm rocking right now. All right, so the next item that I'm rocking here in my Everyday Carry Spring Forward 2024 edition, it might be a sleeper. I've never really mentioned this on the channel before, but I have been using the Backbone, the PS edition with USB-C with my iPhone 15 Pro Max. And so I recently got it as a gift over the holidays. Hadn't had a ton of time to kind of bust it out and play, but as of late, I've been able to use this thing and I absolutely love it. Now they have different versions. They've got one that has lightning. I have the USB-C 3 version, which is a newer version that is available for the newer versions of iPhone, which you've got your USB-C here, you've got your headphone jack, and then you pop your phone in, it slides open like this. You can pop your phone in there, do a quick little demo, put this side in, slide it open and match it with the USB charger on the other side. And you now literally 
have like a switch in your hand. So you've got the Joy-Cons, the keypad, you've got your triangle, square, X, and O. You've got your backbone button. There is an app. One downside I will say about the backbone is they do have an app that comes with a subscription model. Uh, I think the first year is free if you're new to Backbone, and after that I think it's 39 bucks a year if you want access to their app and some of their tech support. But any game on the App Store that is controller usable, you can use the Backbone. And then the reason I got the PS Edition, I have a PlayStation 5. You can do a remote play, and you can hop on here and play your favorite PlayStation games on the go. So again, like I said, being on the move, being at my desk, you got your lunch, your 15 minute lunch breaks. You want to play a little bit of your favorite titles from home. Maybe there's a classic Apple arcade game that you want to play and you can just pop this thing out. You've got great spacing here. The controls feel really good. And probably my favorite thing about this thing is the latency. This thing feels really good when you're playing. I've played some AAA titles, some games that I normally would play on console. I've played on this thing with my friends and they couldn't even tell that I was playing the mobile version or playing on the go or with the backbone. So this thing is making its way into the list for my spring forward everyday accessory. This thing is small, lightweight and compact. I can toss this in my briefcase or backpack and as long as I have Wi-Fi and my PlayStation is in rest mode, I can log in and play some of my favorite titles. So let me know if you guys do any mobile gaming, if you've heard of Backbone, if you have Backbone. This is my first one. I've seen so many good things about it that I was super excited when I picked it up as a gift this holiday season. And just like I said, the versatility and the portability of it and the great latency. A lot of times with mobile gaming, there's a lag or the controllers, you just don't feel like, you know, they're up to speed with what's going on. I can say Backbone does a pretty darn good job of making it feel like you're playing right on a console controller. So Backbone PS5 edition has made the list for my everyday carry. Now, move on to the next item in my everyday carry list. I typically do a ton of mag safe charging. Now I have a setup at home by my nightstand that uses the majority of my MagSafe items, but I do have an iPad, I do have a MacBook, and now that the iPhone 15 Pro Max has USB-C, I do typically carry a cable with me now, and so I've got an accessory here that has made my everyday carry list, and so this is the Charge Flex cable from Kadabe, we're rocking that amethyst again. Shout out to Kadabe for this color. Shout out for the care package. So we've got the Charge Flex cable, and then it does come with a 20 watt connector charging brick. And so I'll slap on the amethyst one more time so we can kind of color match here. All right, so we got the matching amethyst case on the synthesis, the charging block. And the cool thing about this is it gives you this cool like little leather clamp kind of organizer cable management, but you've got your USB-C on there. And it's long enough that you could use this as an iPad or MacBook charger if you've got the brick that goes with it. And I'm not gonna untangle it here on the camera because you can see it's got quite enough length here, just kind of go all over the place. But this thing is super versatile. You take your charging brick of choice. Maybe you've got, like I said, one for the iPad or one for your MacBook, and you've got plenty of versatility. The other thing, as I mentioned, with the backbone, you've got the addition of the USB-C. So you can plug the USB-C in there. And so it's got charge through. So just tons of versatility with this cable. For a while, I was using power banks and things like that to charge my devices, but I just started to carry a cable with me at all times now. And so again, shout out to Kadabe for the awesome colorway that they have uh, on their website and with their products. So I'll show you the box for these. So this is 
the 100 watt power delivery charge flex USB-C to USB-C charging cable. It's got extra thick wire, ballistic braided shell, and up to 10K bend lifespan. So this thing is super durable. You can bend it, flex it, use it, abuse it, and it's going to last. And so here's the box that the cable comes in. And I think I still have the box for the conductor. So here's the box for the conductor, 20 watt power delivery charger. So this one is definitely going to be for your mobile device. So this is the one that I would use for the iPhone. I do have an Apple brick that is a little bit stronger watt charger. But the cool thing with the cable being 100 watt delivery, you can swap out the back. And like I said, you could use a MacBook charger, an iPad charger. You could charge anything that's USB-C with this. This isn't just exclusive to iPhone, to Apple. Now, that's the primary ecosystem that I have, but this cable is multi-use. All right, and so again, one of the cool things about Kadabe, which I love their products, is a lot of their products share the same colorway. And so if you're into matching, if you're into kind of making your products look nice and also protecting them, they've got some pretty awesome stuff. So this has made my list, the Charge Flex cable. I can throw this in my backpack, throw it in my briefcase, keep it organized with the leather loop, and we're on our way. And I'm going to make it through my day knowing that I'll be able to charge my various products up to 100 watts given I have the different backs. I right, know we're making our way down the home stretch here for everyday carries. Now I carry this no matter what the season. And so just for the sheer fact that this is my absolute everyday carry, no matter what it has made the spring forward 2024 edition. And that is this Belkin continuity pop socket, jack of all trades, mag safe accessory. Now, I first got this back when continuity cam, the feature dropped on MacBooks that will allow you to use your iPhone as a camera for FaceTime or Zoom. It was big when we were in COVID, it just was another way to kind of give you better clarity than what the Macs were giving you for video. And so I went and bought one of these and used the heck out of the continuity because at the time we were doing a bunch of Zoom. But the other thing that I like about this accessory and why I carry it everywhere is it acts as a pop socket as well. And so maybe if I don't have my ESR wallet, I'm chilling around the house. Maybe I have my wallet in my pocket because the ESR wallet does just kind of have the versatility to slide in your pocket. Maybe I just want to have a little bit more grip on my device, but also be able to set it up as a stand for landscape viewing. And then if you set it up with this and you pop this out, you can get vertical. So you've got your computer up, your iPad, maybe you're at your desk. You can set this up vertically and have it open. Check your messages. Maybe you're watching YouTube. Maybe you're reading something. You've got the calculator app going. I have no idea how you multitask. Do what you got to do. But I like that versatility. And then again, it's classic use of you're taking that Zoom call, that conference call, and you want a little bit better quality. You've got the iPhone 15 Pro Max camera system on your phone. Why not slap this on your Mac and use their camera. So this thing is almost automatic. If I don't have a MagSafe wallet on my device, I am using this Belkin pop socket. Now I'm not sure at the time of purchasing this if they had more colorways. I purchased the white. I believe they have a gray or space black version of this. And so if you don't like the white colorway, they've got an additional option. Um, I bought mine straight from the Apple website. So you'll find it somewhere on their website in accessories. But this just had to make the list. I take this with me wherever I go. And oftentimes I'm wearing this more than I'm wearing a MagSafe wallet just because I like that added ergonomic security of having extra grip on my device, at least from the back. You can place your finger here. And then when you're holding it like this, just the fact that this rubberized material just gives you kind of this silicone texture on the back gives you more grip on here. So Belkin 
jack of all trades, continuity, mag safe accessory has made my spring forward list. I don't go anywhere without this thing. It is pretty awesome. All right. And the last thing on my list, this is just a throw in because I can carry this in my briefcase. I can carry this in my backpack. I keep some by my desk, but that is whoosh, baby. All right, the screen shine. I'm not going to bust it out of the package. It makes a lot of noise when you open the package. Not going to do all that, but this is my go-to screen cleaner for my phone. If I'm cleaning my screen before I'm putting on a screen protector, even when I have a screen protector on, I use the whoosh. I use the whoosh on my MacBook and my iPad. This thing is just amazing product for cleaning screens, cleaning your glass and keeps everything fingerprint proof, looking shiny, looking new, just like on the Apple showroom floor. It looks that good when you're done. And so this version that I have just has a tiny squirt bottle on there. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go off camera real quick and pull out these products for you. All right, could not show you, just didn't want all that noise on cam. So I have the little mini squirt bottle, the portable screen shine whoosh. Comes with a double-sided cloth here, microfiber cloth that you can use in bright orange to clean your product. Now there's some instructions on the packaging, kind of the best way to use this, how to dry, wipe, and clean your product. But if you're a tech person, if you're using your products, if you want your stuff to look nice, sanitary, clean, fingerprint proof, I recommend Woosh. I use it all the time. I probably should use it now because my iPhone is looking fingerprint city. But this is kind of the last thing that rounds out my everyday carry, especially right now in the springtime. You're outside, you're going out into the better weather, you're getting more moisture, more hands on the device that you just want to be able to clean it off. And so it's kind of a all in one. A lot of times you buy the product, but it comes with no cloth or you buy a really nice cloth and you've got no product, no cleaning solution to use. And so I like that whoosh gives you both and it's high quality and dependable stuff. So I'll leave the link in the description for this. If you've heard of whoosh, you know, if you know, you know already, if you don't get you some whoosh, this stuff is pretty awesome. All right, y'all, so that is it for this video. That is my Everyday Carry Spring Forward 2024 edition. All right, we're rocking the iPhone 15 Pro Max with the Amethyst Synthesis, the ESR Magnetic Wallet, the Belkin Pop Socket Continuity Cam, AirPods Pro in the Mezzo. For some entertainment, we've got the PS Edition Backbone, keeping everything charged up, the Charge Flex Cable and Conductor by Kadabe. And then to keep everything clean, we've got the Whoosh Microfiber Cloth and Cleaning Solution. So let me know in the comment section below your everyday carry for the springtime as the weather is starting to get nicer. What is it that you are using? What are you taking with you everywhere you go? Here's my list. Let me know also in the comment section below if there are any products or items or accessories I should try, something I should add to my everyday carry. I'm open to hearing from you guys and trying out some different products and maybe reviewing it right here on the channel. But that is it for me. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to become a part of the community and know when new videos go live, consider subscribing, especially if you like tech related content, hit that bell so you know when new videos go live. But that is it. I'm out of here. Be blessed. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.